guys, today I'm going to be doing a Goodwill thrift store haul. I know it's been a while since I've done a yard sale haul, but the weather on the weekend just hasn't been too great here lately. Um, I did go, one, not last week, but the week before, and I did find some things, but I'm going to wait until I have a little bit more of an accumulation of stuff to show you guys. Um, so to fill the void of not really having um yard sale finds i went to the thrift store and i found some stuff and you guys i love going shopping and while i was there i was finding a lot of cute brand new things so i decided to pick up some stuff to do a thrift store giveaway i've never done a thrift store giveaway before so i'm doing one today um so we will get to those things at the end of the video as far as what I'm giving away and how to go about entering the giveaway. But until we reach that point, I'm going to show you guys the things that I picked up for me. Uh, yeah, the first thing that I got, I did not need, but I fell in love with. Before I get into the wonderfulness of this alpaca here, um, I want to make mention I don't know about other Goodwills, but a lot of times they get in Target stuff. So a lot of things you'll see is actually stuff from Target. I found this alpaca and he was probably originally from Target. I'm not entirely sure, but I paid $2.49 for him. And he matches another little alpaca that I have. Looks like maybe he was from Valentine's Day, possibly. I don't know. He's got this little heart here dangling on his mouth, but I'm going to nip that off because I don't really care for that. Um, so I'm going to chop that off um, with scissors. It's just like a hanging on by a very small thread, so it won't hurt him. Uh, but I just love that he was like this pastel rainbow color. They did have some other ones. They were all equally as adorable, but I chose this guy. I saw it as soon as I walked in, kind of squealed and ran towards the, the counter where he was sitting. Um, but yes, I got, I got him and I didn't need him, but you know, I just, I had to save him from... <sighs> Who knows what demise he would have had had he not sold. He would have ended up in a landfill somewhere. So I got him and like I said, you will notice a theme of some Target-y stuff. Uh, the next thing that I got though were three pairs of LuLaRoe leggings. Now I had never had anything LuLaRoe before. You know, I had heard about it and all of that stuff. I know it was really big. I don't know if it's still big or what, um, but I was just kind of like, why are people going so crazy over this this brand? I didn't fully understand. Well, <laughs> I, don't, I, I don't know. I know. Um, so I found these and these aren't like the, the, the prints I would really get go for as far as leggings go. Now, I will not wear these out in public. Um, I just don't have the balls for that. Um, you know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a t-shirt and jeans kind of girl. I'm not like crazy wild print legging kind of girl, like to go out in public, but I will wear them as like lounge pants, pajama pants around the house. And that is what I have been using these for. Um, I've actually had this one of my last, last times I went to the thrift store. So these have already been worn and washed a couple of times since then. So uh, the first pair are just, have these like carousel kind of horses on them. And these are so comfortable. I, I know now why people went crazy for these leggings. And um, this one is just kind of like a geometric kind of print to it. And same with this one, but just a little bit more of a design and a more colors to it. Um, I understand too, like I remember hearing people saying like the quality as far as the designs and how they're cut isn't the best. Like the, the fabric and the design doesn't necessarily match the other leg and that kind of thing. Um, and I did notice that with, um, I believe it was this pair it looks a little funky in the leg just because of the, the design not matching entirely on the other leg, which isn't a big deal to me because like I said, I'm just wearing them around the house. They're super comfortable and I really do like them. Like I said though, I really don't know if I would have chosen these prints if I were actually like going to 
to buy them and pay full price or something like that. But these were, I believe, $4.50 a piece, which wasn't bad. And I didn't even know if these were going to fit right or anything like that. My, my first... My first instinct when I saw them was I was going to get them to resell, but then I tried them on and I kind of fell in love. Um, these are the tall and curvy, which is nice because I am tall and a lot of times with pajama pants, they're a little too short in the leg and these are these are perfect. And so, yeah, I really like them. That was that was a good find for me because I didn't know I liked them and now I know what size I'd wear and I know that next time I do see them, if I do, I'm going to pick more up. I did check today, I didn't see any. Um, when I had purchased these that day, um, the girl working there said they get them in like every, not necessarily every day, but she said like they always have some for sale, but I didn't see any when I went in today. Um, okay, next thing, this is also um, from Target originally. These are socks by Exhilaration. And these still have the tags on, they're brand new. And these look like they were probably from winter. And they're just long knee-high socks. And these have like little woodland creatures on. I think they're so adorable. Oh my gosh, I love those. So those will be perfect for next winter. And these were only 29 cents. So it looks like they were on clearance at Target for 70, 75 cents. So still a really good deal, but apparently no one bought them. And same with these, just kind of have a wintry theme, like a dark teal top, knee high length with some forestry trees there and same color there um, on the toe. And yes, these were also 29 cents. So great deal for some socks. Uh, next thing that I got, and this is also from Target, look at the size of this freaking lip balm. I about my pants. This thing is huge. It is a Lucky Charms flavored lip balm by Taste Beauty. There's a random hair stuck to the sticker. That's gross. Oh, I think it's just a fuzzball. Uh, but this was only 49 cents. I had to get it just because of the novelty aspect. It was ginormous and... I don't know. I got to open it and try it out though. So that's, that's what we're doing right now. Typically these kind of lip balms, like the, the little like candy novelty brand lip balms aren't that spectacular, but like, it's like the size of my head. I had to buy it. It smells like a sweet plastic is how I would describe it. And it is just kind of like a Almost like a Pepto Pepto Bismol pink there. I feel like I'm applying it. I feel like I'm applying it to my chin too. This is crazy. Oh, oh my, oh my god, I have a hat. Um, but yeah, like I said, more novelty aspect than anything. It's. I mean, it has a sweet smell, but I smell plastic in there too. But this is like really funny. Like, could you imagine carrying this around in your purse and pulling it out and then you just start like putting it on your lips? People are going to look at you like you're crazy. But I had to get it, like I said, for the novelty aspect. So I got that. Um, another thing I bought that I don't need, I got some soap. <laughs> and the first one I got was by Perfectly Posh. And I've tried a couple of things by uh, Perfectly Posh before and I've liked them. So I decided to go ahead and try this. This is their Chunk Soap in Spawsum. Spawsum. And this was $1.97. And it's in, it says Namaste in the bath all day. I thought it was super cute. Their names on their stuff is just adorable. Um, this was $1.97. It was slightly open here at the top, but obviously the soap was never taken out and used. But it has a very like, has a very like menthol-y kind of herbally type of smell almost. Just something I think would be good to use when maybe you're not feeling so well, maybe stuffy, that kind of thing. And I could also see my boyfriend probably using this one as well just because of the scent. So for $1.97, I decided to pick that one up. And another one that I got was this one here. And I had never heard of it before. 
It's called History Perfume of History Paris Bouquet. It's in French. Um, and apparently it came from France. I looked it up online and the whole website is, you know, the pricing is in, um, what's the pricing like France uses? I, I don't know. I apologize. Um, but I paid $1.97 for this and this one is the Marie Antoinette one which was really awesome and it smells fantastic. I love the smell of it and it's super pretty. Um, it's heart shaped and it has like this pretty engraving all over the front. Very nice. I'm not quite sure. Does this have like a, I don't think it has a scent description. But it's a really pretty smell. It's a bit perfumey, but like nice. It's not like a cheap kind of soap perfume smell, if you get what I'm saying. So I really like that. I thought that was not something I'd really ever find anywhere. So I picked that up. I got two beauty products um, as well. This is the Body Shop Manoy Miracle Oil. And it just looks like this. Um, it is for sumptuous softening for skin and hair. So you can use it on either or. And that was also $1.97. And, and it looks like it's new. So I picked that up as well as this Dr. Hoshka facial toner. And I know they sell this brand at Sephora, so I knew it was a high-end brand. Um, it was $2.97, and it has been used a couple of times. I think it also might be missing its cap if it came with one, like a cap that would go over this part. You can see it's not filled to the tippy top, but there's still a lot left in there. So it's still, you know, going to be plenty to more than try out and see if I like it. It smells great. It reminds me of, I don't know if anyone remembers the makeup brand Tony and Tina, but a lot of their stuff had almost like an herbally kind of smell to it. And that's what this reminds me of. It reminds me of Tony and Tina, the scent. Um, so we shall see what that's like. I didn't look up to see how much this retails for. I'm gonna do that real quick because I'm curious. Dr. Hush, Hushka, Hush. Okay, on their website, I don't see the one fluid ounce. I only see the larger 3.4 ounce, which is regularly 37. So this would probably be maybe in the 20 range. So still a good deal for $2.97, so I can try it out. Um, I found this, and this was funny. This is by Cuddle Duds, and it is a just kind of like a hair wrap. Now you could wear this, you know, to put your hair back if you're doing like a face mask or just washing your face, that kind of thing. Or, you know, it shows on the back like different, different ways you can wear it. But it's made by Cuddle Duds, so it's that super, super soft fabric. If you guys have ever had pajamas um, from Cuddle Duds or felt it, the, the fabric is just amazing feeling. But anyway, the funny part is I have pajamas that are this print that I got at Kohl's, like, I forget what year it was for Christmas, but this matches my pajamas. So I was really, really excited about that. And that was 97 cents and brand new. So I had to pick that up. Um, I got these Estee Lauder makeup brushes and these were 97 cents. These are just like ones you would get as like a gift with purchase kind of thing. But it comes with three different ones. There's like an eyeshadow, it looks like a lip brush, and just kind of like a brow mascara-y type eyelash comb thing. So I got those. Like I said, they were 97 cents. They just have a clear handle with a design. Um, I got this makeup bag. I thought this was so adorable. This is by a brand called Kenzie. Um, don't really know a whole lot about that brand, but I thought this was so cute. I love the front of it. It kind of gave me like, um, almost like a Marc Jacobs vibe, like the daisy um, flower, like from the perfume. That's what it reminded me of, but I like the colors, the black, the white, and the red. It was brand new. 
Um, don't know what it retailed for because there's no retail price sticker, but I paid, ugh, I paid a dollar, a dollar, a dollar 97. And then the back just is red and it says pretty. So kind of like double sided. And then obviously it is brand new. The inside is just black inside. So got to that, all this good stuff. Oh my gosh. Okay, next I got this um, Sum Sum. Is that how you pronounce these little guys? I don't have any of these. I always thought they were so adorable when I would see them in the store. I'd always have to like go and like touch them and squeeze them because I'm, I'm just like that. Uh, but this was from Target, probably obviously around like Halloween time. And it's so cute. It's Mickey Mouse and he is dressed in his little Halloween garb. Um, wearing like an orange cape. He's got these like bat wings, a little bat on his hat. And I thought that was absolutely adorable. So now I have one and this was 49 cents. So I don't know what these retail for originally. Um, can I see? It was originally $4.99. So I only paid 49 cents for it. So, and I like it cause it's Halloween themed and that's my favorite holiday. So I got that. I found these vintage Star Wars puffy stickers of Wicket the Ewok. Oh my gosh, I was so excited for these. You see how freaking cute these are. I paid 97 cents. These are brand new, still in the original packaging from 1983. Well, they are just really cute, puffy, vintage stickers. Oh my gosh, I absolutely love them. And I always make fun of my dog. I got a Shih Tzu. She looks like an Ewok. I dressed her as one for Halloween one year. It was it was amazing. Um, also, I got a record player for Christmas one year and I don't listen to it like super often, but that's mainly because I don't really have a whole lot of records. Um, so when I do go to thrift stores, I like to look at them and I I'm more interested in like obscure weird things. Like I like the vintage Christmas songs, the, the um, Christmas records and stuff like that. But then like, I also like to look for just weird stuff. Like things that just like spark my interest. And this one here, I, I just gravitated towards because of the cover and it's called Music from Mr. Lucky. And I, do you see the like giraffe looking cat on the front of this? Like. This just screamed that I had to listen to it and that I'd like it. And I did already listen to this one and it wasn't bad. It was just kind of like, um, no real lyrics to it. It was mainly just um, instrumental, I guess you would call it. Uh, but I liked it. It was, it was nice. There were some songs that were a little more funky and then just some that were more like suspenseful sounding and you know, it had just, different ones in there and you know it wasn't bad um oh and the price on the records well there's no price on this one but they're 97 cents at the thrift store another one that I got was this one called Aloha Moods and I figured this would be just some like Hawaiian kind of relaxy tropical instrumental music which it was it was very like relaxing to listen to which I liked um you know, typically I'll put one of these on and like maybe color my color, my, my adult coloring book. Um, and then this one I haven't had a chance to listen to yet, which I'm really excited for because this is the kind of stuff I just imagine coming out of my record player. And it is called The Favorite Music of the Roaring Twenties. So I'm really excited to listen to this just to see um, what exactly all is on it. Um, it does look like there's, you know, actual songs on here, not just, um, instrumental music. There's making whoopee, doodle doo doo, you do something to me, be my little bumblebee. Let's see what's on the other side. Um, how come you do me like you do? My melancholy baby behind closed doors and put your arms around me, honey. Oh, this is gonna be sexy. So, um, but yeah, I, I'm really excited to listen to this one. So, oh my gosh, go back in and, oh, they smell so good, they smell old. I love the smell of just like old vintage things. I know, I'm weird. 
Okay, now I'm going to show you guys the other stuff I got from the thrift store, but this stuff I got specifically to give away to you guys. So that is what I'm doing. I apologize. I'm a little off the wall right now, but I just drank one of my coffee drinks. So that's, that's probably why. Um, so what the hey, I'm going to tell you what I spent on the stuff too, because the, I just got home and sat in front of the camera and decided that I was going to do this. So, um, you're going to know what I spent on it, but it's not a big deal. Uh, so the first thing you're going to get in the giveaway is this Victoria's Secret makeup bag. Um, there is some fuzzies on here. It is brand new with the tags. I will lint roll it first before I send it to you, just in case you have any allergies to random fuzz bits. So, uh, but this is new with the tags. It looks like it came with like a Victoria's Secret love spell set. So it probably had like the perfume and the lotion and all that good stuff in there. I wish it had still been in there. Um, but this was $1.97. So you will get that in the giveaway. And inside of it, I am putting this Vaseline Rosy Lips Lip Balm. I paid 49 cents for this. It is brand new, still sealed. Um, I will tell you a bit of a funny story. I didn't get like a basket or anything to put my stuff in. I was just kind of holding my record and laid everything on top of it, kind of like a plate. And um, this was in a box and I apologize, but it fell out and I couldn't really bend over correctly to pick it back up. So I let the box sit, uh, but I figured it was still okay because the lip balm itself is sealed. So it just doesn't have, have its original box that it came in, but I'm sure you guys do not care. So that is going into the makeup bag as well as these here. And these are obviously um, a Target item. They are sticky notes and erasers. So you get one pad of sticky notes that has 30 sheets and eight erasers. So the sticky notes say OMG, and then the erasers are little pizza slices, some sushi, and some tacos. They are so freaking adorable. Um, and they were originally from the Dollar Target spot, but at Goodwill, they were only 49 cents. So they are going in your makeup bag as well as these. Again, Target Dollar spot. That was at the thrift store. These are so freaking cute. It is 10 count pencils. These were also 49 cents and you get three donut printed ones. There's four kind of just pink um, designed ones and then three with like a sprinkle and sundae type design. So those are going in the bag. And then lastly, I picked you guys up this really cute set again, brand new. I wanted to make sure I found brand new stuff because I know it's a thrift store and sometimes the things are used, but I wanted to, to buy, you know, brand new things for you. So this is by the, er, this is by My Beauty Spot. It is a foot care set and it comes with a Scented foot lotion in petite iris. And then it also has these super duper soft pink um, socks in there as well. So you can put the foot lotion on and then put the socks on and just get your feet all moisturized. So I think that would be cute um, to use closer to like when the weather gets a little cooler and you want to put on some warm socks and moisturize your tootsies. So that is the things you'll receive in the giveaway. Um, and as far as the giveaway goes, I am going to have it open to everyone. Um, doesn't matter where you live, I will ship your goodies to you. Um, just as always, just make sure you're subscribed to my channel and leave me a comment down in the comment section that you are interested in being entered. If you're not interested in being entered and just want to leave a comment on the video, then that's fine. Um, just be specific when you're commenting, enter me that you put enter me so I know you actually want to be entered into the giveaway. But anyway guys, that is my latest thrift store haul. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enter the giveaway and I wish you guys the best of luck with winning. Um, I'm going to keep the video up um, for this week. So I will choose a winner next Sunday. Um, what day is that? Let me get my, let me get my calendar here so I can tell you what day. What 
what's, I don't even know what today's date is. And I just hit the calculator. No, Michelle. Michelle, it's the calendar. Yeah, there you go. July 1st. July 1st, I will announce the giveaway winner for Mother Store Haul. So, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you next time.